All I would argue is really good. Open the door. From the makers of Ring Toss 3D comes Cutie Garden, guys. Cutie Garden. Anybody play Dog Kong and Do once upon a time? Or Cat Merge or Dog Merge or all these animal merging games are so popular and everybody wants a piece, including Mini Joy Studio. That's right, Mini Joy Studio, aka Cutie Garden, wants to use your device's location and your phone to make calls. They want to call their grandmother over in, uh, where are these guys from? Rajkot. Ugh. Anyways, guys, this is a merge game with animals. Again, I'm reviewing another one of these games. For some reason, they keep coming out. And uh, it's just a merge game. There's not much to this. You watch ads and you collect coins. These yellow coins, guys, they only buy animals. They don't really buy you anything real, like real money or anything. It's just virtual currency. Same thing, same thing with PayPal. You need a minimum of $100 to cash out. Quite steep if you're just watching ads. If a thousand ads pays one dollar, you're gonna have to watch a lot of ads to hit a hundred. That's a thousand times a hundred. Ten thousand, a hundred thousand ads to get a hundred bucks. That's just an approximate, could be more, could be less. Anyways. You merge animals, guys. There's not much to it. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to go into this game except for the activity rules. Uh, there's something here in their activity rules that I found interesting. So let me go. Here we go. In the event of any force major, can't even spell, major event or any changes of circumstance that we cannot control, including but not limited to strikes, act of God, policy changes, Act of governmental cyber attack and system failure leading to the cessation or adjustment of any activity. Please understand that we are not obligated to make any compensation to you, nor shall we undertake any liability whatsoever. In the, in the event of any failure to participate in any activity due to your improper operation network failure, failure to telecom, failure of telecom operator, any 30 part reason, we are not obligated to make any compensation. <laughs> Sometimes reading these little uh, activity lists are interesting. Let me, uh, let's do a little investigation here on their Google Play Store and let's check a trend we've been noticing with every single game. And look, the same thing applies here, kind of. Sure, they do show you money, but the raffles and the prize centers, gone. You're not earning no Gucci purses. You're not earning iPhones. There's nothing of that there. That's just so they make you play the game. There's screen there's three wow there's three screenshots and none of them have the free raffle or the price center different version maybe it's a different version but I just downloaded it yes guys it seems to be a trend with these companies mini joy studios he seems to be from the uh, very mediocre apps. However, Lucky Toss 3D did so good, so he decided to make Cutie Garden 2. Now, what do the reviews say? Hope it's not other apps, it's just ads. It is. The game it has a similar version of Puppy Town. It does. Yeah, exactly. This game is fake after playing daily for a week and after I watched 500 stupid ads and after I earned my first hundred dollars, it suddenly dropped down to 98. It's not increasing no matter how much I play. Oh, yay, guys. I'm very surprised this is happening. Very, very surprised. Too slow of gameplay, too many videos, too many glitches. Guys, tell me. Tell me. You tell me. Tell me in the comments. Tell me in your payment proofs or PayPal's or Amazon's, whatever these guys are promising to offer you a trip down to Cuba, to the beautiful beaches of Thailand, whatever these guys offering you or try to offer you. Let me know your experience if you've actually gotten 
your things, which I highly doubt. Highly doubt. There's very few games that actually really pay, you guys. But there is some out there. Do I think this one pays? No. Absolutely not. Uh, not that I don't know the developer. Mini Joy, I've only reviewed one game by them. However, when a game goes to hide payment icons from the Google Play Store, it tarnishes their liability. It really does. So guys, please, you let me know about your experience. Let us know in the comments. Let other people know so they don't waste time on these games. If you have payment proof, tell us so we do waste time on these games. So till the next one, guys. Cheers. How I would argue is Open the doors.